Welcome back, beer friends. Today, as we are amongst friends, it seems like a great time to try out Santiadaris' Amongst Friends. So if you're a friend, let us amongst. <laughs> back to another episode beer lovers i'm jeff and i'm jacob and if you guys are new here please make sure you subscribe to our channel so you can make sure you don't miss any other future episodes and if you've been here before then you know you should be cracking open a beer right now and drinking with us and while you're at it go ahead and give us a thumbs up we appreciate the support so jacob what are we drinking today well we are going back into one of my favorite styles saison and this is not just a regular saison, it's going to be a fooder aged saison, which is basically a gigantic barrel. <laughs> um, but it's not just a one-time use barrel, it's a large barrel that kind of gets multiple uses. So they throw it in this big, almost like a wooden vat, <laughs> kind of. Um, but it will house multiple beers over the course of its use. So it kind of... Ends builds up character. Yeah, it's going to build some character, some funk, and just some beer-flavored goodness. Uh, so you're going to get a good full flavor from this. And Santiadaris is one of those breweries that kind of specialize in Saison and Sours and just aging beer. So we don't really get to have a lot of them. They don't typically put stuff out into the stores very often. They're not crazy far away, but neither are they like a quick hop in the car and let's go grab, pick up a few bottles, at least for us in SoCal. So it's always a treat when we get to crack something open from Sante. Yeah, big shout out to uh, Scott, uh, Scott Windsor at Windsor Homebrew Supply. That's where I got this. Scott, thank you so much for carrying just really unique, hard to find beers. Yeah. If you guys live local to Orange County, California, uh, you guys should definitely check that place out for all your brewing needs or if you just want to pick up some fire beer. They actually have two locations. One's in Costa Mesa, one's in Anaheim. So you got your North and South OC covered. So. Yep, there you go. <laughs> all right, so let's go ahead and get into this beer. This is called Amongst Friends. It is a fooder age saison, as Jacob said, and they actually add sweet and tart cherries to it. So yummy, 7.3% uh, ABV. So nice, right in that nice drinkable range. Got a little bit of, you know, alcohol to get us going, but not too much. <laughs> well, Should seeing we... as we're sharing it amongst friends and there's only two of us here, <laughs> uh, we'll see. We'll see how we do with this bottle. <laughs> All right, you ready? I'm ready. I can already see. Ooh, Ooh, look at that yeah. color. Nice little pink hue from those cherries. It's like kind of a creek, but not quite as Belgian. Uh, so I'm curious to see what that'll be like when we actually drink it. I mean, it's definitely clearer than like something a bit more Belgian. So that's already. Yeah, <laughs> as funny as it sounds, this reminds me of my mom's boxed wine when I was a kid. <laughs> uh, the white Zinfandel. I'm sure. Oh. I'm sure you guys uh, remember those box wines my mom went crazy over them it's a little rosé kind of yeah, yeah 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 all right well let's go ahead and go in for the smell oh that's a lot it's a lot softer than i expected yeah i was waiting to smell some real funk in there and yeah not a little tartness I, from the cherries for yeah sure, but i get not... a little bit of tart sweetness from the cherries but no like wild yeast character this bad boy is ice cold too, so I don't know, maybe as it warms up, you know, it'll bouquet yeah, a little bit a little more. more. But I gotta tell you guys, this is a beautiful color. Um, it looks like the camera's picking it up as we are seeing it. It's it's really nice. It's not quite red, not quite pink, it's like somewhere in between. Yeah, and like I said before, it's quite clear, other than just the cherry color. The head on there is pretty white dissipated pretty quickly but there's still just that nice ring yeah just a little ring around the ring around yeah ring around the rose <laughs> uh, somebody 
name their beard at. I don't oh, remember I'm who. I'm sure there's many. That's of them. already taken though, so if any you can't use that one. Yeah. <laughs> um also before we drink this, I just want to point out that the uh, label has pictures of little furry dogs and uh Santa Darius I guess is extremely pet friendly, which makes me want to visit their brewery. That'd be a nice road trip. Yeah, I think Poe would yeah. enjoy it quite a bit, too. I so. would enjoy that quite a bit. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and dig in, shall we? Yeah, cheers. cheers. Oh, wow. Whoa. Oh, it is a lot more sparkling wine than I kind of thought it would be. <laughs> yeah, this is like light, bright, crisp, but you kind of like go on a little journey as you're tasting it. It's almost like a, like a barrel aged cherry cider, which sounds like a, a stupidly decadent thing to have, but it's also something I would probably try. Um, I'm not mad. <laughs> I, I actually really like the fact that the cherries aren't overdone here. You're getting the cherry flavor and you're getting a nice mix of like that like sweet and tartness from the cherries, but it's kind of like a like an accent to the beer itself. It's not so much like the driving force behind it. Um, I, I feel like it's just, uh, it's there to let you know it's there. That's about it. Yeah, this is definitely more subtle, delicate, light, bright, refreshing, but also a bit dry, uh, way at the end uh, kind of beer. It, it does a little bit remind me of like a very dry cherry cider, uh, not like a sweet, you know, like, big store brand kind yeah. of one yeah this is like a small town craft cidery that also is right by some like organic orchards of cherries <laughs> and and don't forget guys i mean it's not so much that this tastes like a cider i wouldn't say it's as effervescent as a cider it's close though it's quite effer well yeah it's pretty on the effervescent side you, yeah you I think, think so, so. I, I i don't feel like it's quite there not cider wise but I could see how, f for this being a fooder age saison, it's kind of surprising tasting it. Like, ha had I just tasted this one blind and had to guess the style, Ooh, it'd be hard. I would have been way <laughs> off. I would have been way off. I would have been like, did somebody feed me, like, a cherry wine or a cherry cider? I guess, yeah, cherry cider. Maybe almost like a really light Berliner. Kind of, uh, but without that kind of harsh acidity, you know, the acidity here is really, it's delicate. It's, I guess that's the best way I can put it, is like, it's like, ooh, classy, you know? <laughs> I'm, it makes me feel like this is quality. The, the brewing process behind this was not yeah. rushed. It was, there's an attention to detail here, you know, that is like, Someone very skilled made this beer. <laughs> <laughs> and I could not replicate it. God, I hope so, man. This was not cheap. <laughs> it, it tastes like they know what they're doing. <laughs> mm -hmm. And we haven't really talked about it, but 7.3% ABV. It, the body is so light, and it's so just, like I said, delicate and effervescent that I'd probably guess it was just 5%. I don't know. I mean that that's where I was with it. Yeah. I it it's it's got plenty of flavor, don't get me wrong, but it's so light and bright yeah. and effervescent that it just doesn't drink like a seven point three percent beer. But hot damn I ain't complaining, yeah. you get me drunk faster, sure. <laughs> yeah, the only thing that might give it away if I was like just super trying to figure it out without knowing is it does have a bit of that dry finish the more you drink it it kind of lingers on your tongue a bit and that's usually something it's got a little bit more oomph to it um but yeah i mean there's no like alcohol flavor there's no like sharpness to it it's it's just light be probably nice with like some really like charcuterie. <laughs> I was a, I was about to yeah. say some like cheeses and yeah. some meats yeah. and this beer. Hell yeah. yeah. I actually have yeah, so, some cheeses and some meats in my fridge. Well, we're going to cut to black. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it we'll seems see like in a, a few minutes. It seems like a really good palate cleanser. Um, mm -hmm. 
it's got that ability to kind of just wash off whatever flavor you previously had on your tongue and just mellow you out with a nice, just light cherry notes. Uh, yeah, you should have this with food and friends. <laughs> food and friends, definitely. So, yeah, so on that note, when it comes down to whether or not I would buy this again, I would definitely buy this again, but it would be in anticipation of a group gathering, which exactly. yeah. given current circumstances, obviously it makes it very hard uh, to do that safely. Um, so I'm looking forward to the day when we can all have bottle shares again and get togethers and stuff like that, because this is definitely this is... a beer I would love to bring to a party and share with people that either have never had any Sante Darius beer or just are not beer drinkers in general. Yeah. Because I think this would be a hit, for sure. Yeah. Whoever your uh, meat, cheese, and wine friends are, bring a bottle to this guy, because mm -hmm. I think you'll be, a, you'll be a star. You'll have some, some good social cred. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I mean, it's fancy, too. It's fancy. It's good. Yeah, would recommend for all of your fine dining needs. <laughs> and bring some charcuterie with you, too. Yeah. <laughs> alright guys so that's going to do it for this episode please let us know if you enjoyed it via liking, sharing, and subscribing to our channel, please comment down below uh, anything you feel about what you would do this beer if you've had it or if you that this sounds like a different beer that you've had we'd love to try that one too and see how it compares um, so just thank you guys for watching this far, we really do love and appreciate our beer friends well We'll see you next time on Let's, Let's Have, Have Some, Some Beer. Beer. Cheers. Cheers. Boop. We are in Anaheim, California because there's a new brewery in town and this yeah. place might look a little bit familiar to some of you who have seen all of our episodes over the last few years. Uh, we are at Radiant Brewing Company.